Hi, it's One Invisible Songstress, and I do have a new song today, um, Baruch Hashem. And before I begin, I would like to just say that this song is dedicated Eloi Nishmat, to the elevation of the soul of my dear uncle Avraham Mendel Ben Yaakov Moshe Zechel Avraham. May his memory be a blessing. Who is Nifter? He passed away on Shabbat Kodesh, the 13th of Tishrei, 5783, October 8th of 22. And the song is called Who Are You? Part 2. And the words in Hebrew will be explained underneath the video. The bravest act in a person's life is coming home and discovering who you really are. As the best coming home is to learn and live the emet of Hashem. And the Torah, does anyone really know? As only the one actually knows who are you? We may characterize someone by what we perceive about them based on the interactions with them, whether a parent, sibling, relative, or child. That is what you see on the exterior. But what is intrinsic and internal is truly unknown by us, as, as it is the essence of the neshama which avails itself to connect to a binu shabashamayim as we are, are, are. a telemelokim. The root of who you are is to seek out Hashem, be close to Him, and do so on this earthly plane by following the divine book given to us and fulfilling the Hamid's vote. There may be obstacles along the way that try to impede, slow us down, or stop us from fulfilling our ta'achlis in the world. But we need to push forward and fight back against our main foe. Yetzer ha ha ra. When he pushes one way, we need to go the other, always getting one step ahead, seeking out help through prayers and tears to the one and only Hashem who wants us to be victorious. It is for us to always need to sugar to repair any infractions we may have done because none are in him new. Even Moshe Rabbeinu, who was the greatest prophet and the closest to Rabboni Shalom, speaking to Hashem at any time, had some transgressions. We, who aren't in, on the level of Moshe Rabbeinu, where a Kaddish Baruch who expected more from him, still need and must attend to our disobedience while are still alive. As there are no oppor more opportunities when we leave this world, and no one knows when that will be. Take full advantage of every second you have, and use your time wisely. As you build up your spiritual account in Shemayim, and will come out with a favorable judgment in the Olam. Eventually, we will return to our true home. When we move the physical cloak and our soul gets the spiritual frock in the world to come and with the merits for what we have done in our human form, it is our hope and desire to be eternally attached to a Kadosh Baruch Hu on a permanent basis and receive all the goodness from the The bravest act in a person's life is coming home and discovering who you really are as the best coming home <laughs> to learn and live the Thanks for listening, One Invisible Songstress.